Welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to show you how to prepare vegetables uh, from Zimbabwe called uh, Kovo. Uh, this is a leafy vegetable. I have shown how to dry this um, in case uh, you have a time of plenty and you want to keep it for that time when it's not in season so today i'm going to prepare this for my family as you can see you have to arrange uh, the vegetables in such a way that they are easy to hold and don't mind the fact that i have a lot of vegetables i have a backyard garden so i always have plenty of this and it's also good for my family um so today I'm going to show you how to remove uh, the stems from the vegetables as I am uh, cutting into small strips like this. So you make sure that you hold the vegetables tightly and I'm sure this is going to assist those uh, Makotis from Zimbabwe, those Makotis who are married to Zimbabweans. This is a vegetable that you find in most of the households so you really need to know how to prepare this i also don't forget our young girls who are growing up who may not have been domesticated uh, this is how you cut the vegetables small strips and you have to move your hand away from the knife because you can actually cut yourself so this is how you do it until you are done uh, cutting all the vegetables that you need for your family. <clears throat> I'm going to add my vegetables to the pan. I'm not going to add cooking oil at this moment. I know a lot of people use that method, um, but I'm assuming that you should not be using a lot of cooking oil. So we are going to boil this for a few minutes. And I'm going to add warm, warm water. Salt. And I'm going to cover this for a few minutes. So just um, one and a half minutes later, uh, my vegetables have started uh, cooking and I just want to say that you can uh, use this method. You can also start by putting cooking oil um, and then fry it. Uh, but most importantly, you're supposed to make sure that you tear throughout the uh, uh, process to avoid the vegetables from browning. So in this case, I'm just uh, preparing the vegetables on the side. I could also have put uh, tomatoes and onions um i'll give you a i'll show you in a separate video how you do that you can also use these vegetables mixed with uh, the stew of your choice we call that high ferrets back home so in this case i'm just going to do um these vegetables without tomatoes uh without uh, you can also put peanut butter I've heard people say that you can also enjoy this with peanut butter, but uh, mine today are plain. And after a few minutes, I'm going to drain off uh, some of the water because it's a little bit too much. Um, and then add my cooking oil. Um, I've drained out uh, most of the water uh, from the pan and I'm going to add in my cooking oil. I've heard other people actually uh, saying that you can also um, <clears throat> enjoy this just with onion uh, without the tomatoes. So, like I said before, you're supposed to continuously uh, steer your pot, your vegetables, 
uh, your, your pan in this case to make sure that the vegetables do not turn brown. You can enjoy this with uh, stew, um, with your rice, with your fish. Uh, you can enjoy this as well with um, with your carpenta. I've shown you a video of how to make uh, carpenta the traditional way. And you are also not supposed to overcook them so that you preserve all the nutrients in the vegetables. Okay, like I said, you're supposed to continuously stir this uh, to avoid them browning. And um, <clears throat> you're also not supposed to serve them dry. So I've left a little bit of water or, yeah, a little bit of juices so that they're not completely dry. This is a vegetable, a staple vegetable in Zimbabwe. And you can pretty much enjoy this with any uh, side of your choice, any relish of your choice i mean <clears throat> and i remember growing up we used to make this and make um vegetable or covo uh, sandwiches as well so make sure that they they are cold and you can enjoy this on a piece of bread and you don't need eggs you don't need bologna you don't need bacon so my vegetables are pretty much done as you can see, I didn't add a lot of things. This is going to be served with another relish. Uh, thank you for <clears throat> thank you for visiting my channel. And this brings me to the end of this video. Uh, click uh, like, subscribe, and see you in the next video. This doesn't take uh, this takes less than uh, ten minutes, plus or minus five minutes, and you're ready to enjoy your relish.